Hi, this is a, a video demonstrating a script that I've written that can help assist selecting envelope points uh, across multiple envelope lanes and move things around in a bit more natural way until we get a native solution from Cocos. So uh, the first time you run the script you get this pop-up and you have to press enter on your keyboard and then click somewhere where there's nothing and then just click now it works so now I can select everything and I can move things around uh, every time you restart Reba this process has to be rerun um, you can see I can select like this now moving these up here and press shift to select something else and that's also how it differentiates from a racer edit because you can't be as specific with a racer edit where it's like I don't want this and now it's like omitting those two points what's uh, cool is that you can uh, hold down shift and add to your selection and press down command and then invert the selected points uh, in order for this to work properly you need to go into the mouse modifier envelope lane and set shift to no action and command shift to no action. And you can see if I select here and I move things, I can also do it on the envelope points and on the automation point. But there's a little caveat with automation items, which is they deselect whatever else is on the that envelope lane so if I select the purple one here you will see that these two points that's not inside the automation item will get deselected like that and I'm not really trying to fix these things this is supposed to be an add-on that can be turned on and off and not really being in the way of how Reaper normally works for you uh, I'm sure it's fairly easy to break but it also works pretty well if I select a whole bunch of things. For instance, you can break it if you uh, move things uh, too far. Like if we select envelope points and you see up here there's like media items and I move the envelope points more back than the envelope items can. We get something weird because the envelope or the media items can't move further back so they just end on zero. Anyway, let me know what you think. Maybe you can help improve the script until we get a better solution. Okay, that's it. Bye.